Hey, what's up everyone? It's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment, Roxy Electronics and Repair, coming to you with another video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about this beautiful uh, piece of uh, machine called the Pioneer CDJ 3000. Now, look at this machine, it's big, um, very practical, um, very good layout. Um, I have to say this, even before I mention what I have to say about the CDJ 3000, I'm, I'm a big Pioneer fan. Um, for at least 10 years now, Pioneer is the brand that I highly recommend uh, when client comes to my shop, um, when DJs ask me about which uh, unit to get, Pioneer is always the, the my to go, um, you know, that I recommend. Um, but in this unit, this particular unit, um, this is an issue with this unit. And the issue with this unit is that I'm not sure what the plastic make of, but it's not good when it comes to resisting of the sun um, a heat. Whenever these CDJs are out in the heat, out those gigs, uh, out those gigs, um, these jog wheels tend to wob, melt because of the heat. I don't know, I'm not sure what kind of plastic they are uh, pioneers um, been using to get these things made, but it's no very good plastic. It's not a very good sun resistant plastic. It's very um, fragile. Um, now, like these buttons up here, um, they melt off to the point where it's non-functioning. All these buttons, they come melting. They melt off and it's non-functioning. Um, so that's a big problem because you know, especially if you was not one of these guys that bought these when they first came out and they had them in stock um, or pre-ordered, I mean, you paid what, $24, $25, $100. Um, and right now, if you're trying to get one of these, it, it got guys on the internet selling them for all uh, $5,000 for one CDJ. So imagine spending $10,000, which I don't recommend you go that route. Um, but imagine you spending ten thousand dollars to get a pair of these. You do your gig in the you know an outdoor gig, um, yeah, and it's hot, especially a hot summer, whatever the case might be. And you know you come home and meet everything. The jog wheel not turning. These button not. You know you press these button in and it's not functioning. Um, so man, is it really a waste of money? A waste of time? Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of Pioneer products, but this particular unit, no bueno, it's no good. Um, so, uh, kind of thumbs down when it comes to the build quality of the buttons. Now, internally, they're built um, not as good as previous CDJs, to be honest with you. The PCB board quality is not there when it comes to like even the 1000s and, and the 2000s and stuff like that. Um, the PCB board. Now this has a couple of features, um, built features that the um, these older machine never have. Which you got your fan in the back that cools down your PCB board um, and your processor and stuff like that, which is great. Um, look in the back of the unit, you know. Um, love to see these connectors, these blue connectors right here. You got, um, you know, very good USB ports these ports i'm pretty sure these are the old ones that they've been using for many years um so i mean great looking cdj um but don't really recommend it if you're going to be using it outdoors now if you have these indoors in a club somewhere where the temperature is not that hot um i don't think you will ever face these kind of problems but um, as someone who do outdoor gigs, as someone who, you know, rent out and do rentals in outdoors, um, so not recommended. Um, so I hope you guys grasp any kind of information in this video. It's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment. Until next time, peace out.